Hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial of how to add images onto a combo box. Right here I have a combo box. If I drop it down, those are all the images that I've added. I click on this very one. The color is black and the index is 2, which means the index of the football will be 0. Index of the basketball is 1 and so on. So what I'm going to do now is to take you straight into Visual Basic Development Environment and we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now guys. Welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial. Let's start by clicking on Create New Project. Select Visual Basic and make sure you select Windows Forms Application. Now let's give our project a name. I'm just going to call it Add, Add Images. As the name of my program add images on combo box so let's save that now that my form is ready we will then go straight to the toolbox here we need to two main component the first one is going to be the combo box itself there we go that's my combo box right there and let's come straight to the properties of this very combo box drop it down and let's go for draw mode look at it right there you need this very property draw mode drop it down instead of normal let's change it to owner draw variable owner draw variable click on that and let's scroll right down you see where we have item height you want to change the height and height the item or the height of your combo box the decision is yours i'm going to make my 70. there we go you see what happened okay you may try to drag this that much the decision is yours that's fine as for the width the next component that we need now go back to the toolbox we need image list right here double click on an image list object that's my image list right there and this image list i'm going to embed the following images here they are the choice is yours whatever image you want to add onto your system those are the images i intend to add minimize that and now click on your image list right here this little rectangle click on it and here that is the size the default size of the image I'm going to change my default size to 64 by 64 okay and I will set the depth of my to 32 now let's click on the choose image let's move this up so that you can see what I'm doing so the image size is 64 by 64 the depth I've set that to 32 now where we have choose images so click on that add your images and click on the add images and I will now browse to wherever I have my image so select it all and click on open there we go click on open those are my images right there and if you look at your image each of those images do have their own index okay i'm now going to click on okay that is fine now the next thing is we finish with that double click on the form itself so right here on the form load i'm going to declare the following let's say dim img that's for my image open a bracket me dot image list one dot images dot count I want the system to count it for me how many image I have in there minus one so that will be class as string variable there that is done the next thing is for you to use a for loop for let's say I equals zero 
to me dot count okay I'm gonna copy all of that so the loop will count how many images I have on my system instead of me counting that and press enter let's say I image or IMG equals I so whatever amount of image I have in there is then assigned into my variable IMG now let's say item and I dot string convert that to string that is fine so that is that done now the next thing you want to do is you come right here and let's go for the combo box now me dot whatever the name of your combo box is my combo box I haven't changed the name so it's going to be combo box one dot items and dot add whatever range that might be and what I'm adding is my ing the variable and there so the next thing I would like to do now is let me copy that combo box dot drop down style okay this very one equals combo box style dot drop down drop down list now combo box again dot with equals me dot image one dot image size plus maybe I'm gonna make my 64 since that's, I want it to be 64 by 64 then the next thing is combo box dot maximize drop down item equals me dot count whatever I have in here there we go right so that is fine we are meant to add the width there okay that is fine now now that all of that is done have a good look at it okay the next thing we want to do is we need two various events for the combo box itself if you go to the properties you can select events and let's look for draw item right there you see that the event draw item you can double click on that and there you have your event draw item right inside your event draw item you can use an if statement if e dot index not equals to minus one then you want your system to do as follows e dot graphic dot draw image okay. and what is that image that is me dot image list box one dot images open another bracket e dot index comma E dot bands dot left comma E dot bound dot we want that to be at the top and there that is that done okay now that is for draw item now you need another event which you can also get from here drop this down and let's look for measure item measure item double click on measure item so that's another way of getting your events so in the case of measure item all we need to do is e dot item height equals me dot image I'm copying that instead of typing me dot image list 
okay one dot image size the double s dot image size dot height so that is for the height and that's it for the height so for the width i'm just going to copy that come right down here paste that in there for the width and change this dot width and make sure this one is width as well there that's all there is to it okay have a good look at the lines of code that's all there is to it guys if i run the program now this is what you see right here guys click on the combo box and those are all the images added straight onto your image onto the combo box okay that is fine if you notice i enter 64 here so if you like let's say you enter 28 and look at what's going to happen to this combo box there we go you see it has shrunk to the size 28 okay so i want 64 or maybe even make it 70 that's what i want the choice is mine so the next thing we want to do now is when we select any of those image i want the index of that very image displayed and let's let's make the form look a little bit presentable so lo let's look for a label on the toolbox add one label here okay and go to the properties of that very label and let's change that around and i'm just going to speed up that very label all i need to do all i wanted to do on it is just add the following how to a combo box there we go let's drag it down much and make it look a little bit presentable then I will get back to you guys. I'm going to copy that again. Come right down here and change the whole appearance of this. Come right in here. Go to the auto size. Make that false. And here, scroll right down. Border style. Change that to fix 3D. And change this to the back color to control that back. And Font. I'm going to change the font to control light light okay so let's delete this and copy this across all right the next thing we want to do now is I'm going to copy this and get rid of the, the content in there okay I will then speed up the whole development of the interface and get back to you guys shortly okay this is how my interface looks right now so let me show you guys two things before i leave so here that's my lbl name this one i call that that's label 5 and this one is lbl index so the whole idea is when i double click on this so i'll like lbl index dot text equals whatever i have on my combo box combo box one dot selected index I want that displayed on that okay if I run it now watch that guys when I say whatever image I select there you see the index is displayed that is the in index zero and this will be one index five and so on so I will also like it to display the call also using the index you can always say if lbl index the text equals zero so whatever you have in zero you can always say then lbl name dot text equals basketball there so the same thing will be repeated for the others so let's I think the next one is a football else if that will be football okay let's run it now there we go guys so drop that down basketball and that is in index 0 and the next one is football football is index 1 so the same thing can be repeated for the other image okay and get their color right so if you double click on your combo box let's copy this and change the color around 
and that's how you will complete the rest and up here I'm just gonna come here instead of changing this to 170 I'm gonna make the width 160 okay guys you can now see the size of the combo box has changed to 160 so if I drop this down ball in there black color green and so on guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and you all have a nice day now and bye for now